In today's video, we are detailing this 1990 Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park Wagon. <sighs> the long name. Hello everybody and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. So today's video is going to be on this 1990 Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park wagon. Maybe some of you experienced some family vacations in this affectionately called Woody. Well, if you have, then you're going to enjoy this video. So one of our clients purchased this 1990 uh, Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park wagon and he basically just wants it cleaned up and lightly polished because, well, it's definitely had its share of abuse over the years, maybe a little neglect, and it has some things that are not going to clean up on it, but that's okay. It has white single stage paint, and it's pretty badly oxidized and swirled. So with this service, we are basically just trying to clean up the paint, trying to pull out as much gloss and remove some of that faded oxidized paint, and kind of bring back that shine and gloss as much as we can. You'll notice there's some parts of it, like some of the vinyl wood paneling, um, or the, the vinyl, basically, that is starting to peel off and some damage. Some of the aluminum is, is damaged. Some of the trim is damaged. The wheels, not much we can do there. Um, but overall, it's going to look so much better. Now, we didn't really do anything in the interior. He didn't need anything done in there, even though we kind of uh, snuck a peek inside to check this thing out. And uh, do you remember those chairs in the back seat where you face the other direction towards the traffic behind you? Yeah, I remember that. A friend of mine actually used to have a vehicle just like that. And uh, we would go on some trips with him and, and enjoy uh, making faces at the people behind us as we're on the road. So a lot of good times, I'm sure, uh, the family who owned this previously must have enjoyed. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. And if you're interested in any of the tools or products that we use, click on the link up here. It goes directly to a dedicated page on our website that has tools and products that you can simply click on those pictures, which lead you right to Amazon so you can purchase those products easily. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop and you won't miss stuff. So enjoy the video guys. We'll see you at the end.
gritty? Oh, you think that's all funny? Getting up some artillery? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to get a little bit of that on footage. up and embedded. So this paint is really chalky. It's single stage. It could be very thin, so we're gonna tread lightly on this, polish it up as much as we can without compromising anything. As you see, it has a lot of defects, lots of chips. The customer just wants to brighten up 
the white paint. Of course, we're not touching the wood paneling, but we're gonna try to touch up all the white paint here, make it look glossy and better, and bring back this old beast. Does anyone remember uh, family vacations and this beast? So we're going to try out ultra polishing wax. I've, I've used it before, the results were okay. But I'm just going to use this green uh, pad, I forget what it is. S.M. Arnold's green pad. I usually reserve these for jobs like this that the paint single stage white because you'll see what happens to it. So I usually start with a moderate amount, about that much, just to kind of prime the pad as I polish. Not too bad. So compared to the haziness and oxidation here, it clears up. All right, let's go with this finish. I don't wanna go any further because I don't know what's uh, going on with this paint. So we'll go gently and if we can get results like this, Perfect.
helping out. I just can't. Oh God, my fingers. Oh yeah, came out. Nice. Much better. This is why I use uh, pads that aren't as nice, that are a little abused. Those corners there caught it. So when polishing vehicles like this, don't always use your best pads because you're not going to get everything on the vehicle. So you don't want to chew up your pads around these sharp edges. These old vehicles have a lot of aluminum. And as you see, the aluminum is not great. Not much we can do with that. But the paint is coming out better. You can see the difference. The right side is unpolished. The left side has been polished. So it's coming along. So I think this pad is done. That's what happens when you polish old vehicles. It's single stage, as you can see. It's been chewed up all around the edges. You know, I try to be careful, but there's only so much you can do. These edges here, you know, you can try to tape them up and all that, but what we're doing here is not really a call for that so I just use a pad that an older pad that I know can cut at least halfway decent but look what it did not bad at all so my wife went around and got all of the small bits here with the pad and HD speed tried to polish up the little aluminum uh, trim pieces as much as possible, but you know, they're not great. It's old And that's paint that's the paint drips. I thought it was paint chips, but it's not so nothing I can do about that But the paint feels super slick I'm still going to wax the top here. I'm actually going to use optimum car wax and spray it Everything else has been protected already with optimum spray wax The tires and the wheels, 
as best as they're gonna get. They're old, they're tarnished, not much we can do. But the chrome in the front looks pretty decent. The plastics are dressed. And not too bad for just a single stage polish or an all-in-one polish. That's as far as I wanted to go with it. There's swirls and other deep scratches, but we're not going to go any further because the paint could be delicate and thin. It has some of these defects gouges in the wood, uh, it's not really wood paneling, it's just a, a veneer, a vinyl. Alright, it's ready for the next camping trip. Family vacations. And just check out the interior. We didn't do anything in the interior because this Customer didn't want anything in the interior, but man, that's some plush carpet. For a big car, it's kind of small back here, but of course, you get all this room back here. I believe those uh, panels right there lift up with the seat that faces out the back. Remember those days? You can shove like a dozen children in here. They're all bouncing around with no seatbelts. Yay, safety in the 80s. So the Grand Marquis is done. Now it looks a whole lot better. We were able to pull some gloss, remove that oxidized paint, and bring it back to glossy and shiny, and at least protect it, and make it look so much better. But as you saw, overall, it's looking great. Customer is happy, and really, that's the bottom line. If the customer is happy, then we're happy. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who may enjoy it, and as always, subscribe, click that bell, that way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. Now if you've enjoyed this video, then definitely check out our archive of videos. We have over a hundred of them, and they date back about a year ago, but there's all sorts of different videos that we have, both interior and exterior. We have some reviews, we have some how-tos. So definitely check out those other videos and maybe you can get some tips and tricks from those as well. So thank you for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.